Welcome to another episode. In this episode, I am taking the advice of someone from the comments. They wanted to get an update on some of the other royal families, as well as see a breakdown as of some of the family trees. So I thought that was a really good idea, and I definitely want to focus on this episode on the royal family of Oasis Springs, because we do get to see the family um, in Willow Creek sometimes since Alice Princess Alice is with Prince Henry in Windenburg. So we're going to focus on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs in this episode. Uh, but first two things of good news. So one, I got a new microphone. So I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I'm really excited about this. Definitely hit up that Black Friday deal. Um, I also got the uh, Get Famous pack, and we're not focusing on that in this series. But if you want me to start a series where I focus on that, I definitely can. Uh, but the exciting thing about that is just all the cool stuff that they have and all the cool clothing because especially for the royal family of Windenburg, um, some of the furniture is just very like elegant and gold and gorgeous and beautiful. So we might play with that a little bit later. So this episode, focusing on Oasis Springs, um, right now Prince Adrian is being coached by his dad to swim and his dad is yelling at him a lot, probably because Prince Adrian is not swimming at all. He's just floating there. So, um, we're actually, so we're actually going to go ahead and see the castle because I did add a few things. Um, in the last episode we did the castle tour so you can look through previous, uh, videos if you want to see what it looked like beforehand. And I mean, it pretty much looks the same. I just added a few stuff like... Some of the rooms were kind of unfinished, um, and there was just so many bedrooms in this palace. I don't know why. Um, I got this from the gallery, as usual. I say that every time, but I did. Um, but I just added a lot of lights because, as you can still tell, some of the rooms I don't think have any lights. And that would be because it's so open, um, and you can see that here. Like, the there's no real windows. It's like an archway that actually opens up to outside. So, like, right now where they're swimming is technically in the castle, but it's also outside. So it's just very open, and when it's daytime, there's a lot of sunlight that comes in. So right now you can see, um, I'll go to just the top floor, I added a little spa because the whole castle kind of reminded me of a spa. So we have like our gym here, we have a little sauna area here, and these two were both bedrooms, so there were actually two extra bedrooms in this palace. Um, but I might add a little bit more, I think we definitely need some more lights because there's just this really dark hallway here. Um, and then we do have a lot, a lot of bedrooms, so I might still do something with those bedrooms. We'll see. I haven't actually counted how many bedrooms. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and I think there's like three downstairs. Let's see. Five, six, seven. Yep, so there's seven bedrooms, and I don't think we need that many because it's a family of four. I know castles and mansions, they have a lot of bedrooms, so I don't know. We'll see. So they're going swimming right now. Prince Jared is a teenager, and I think we need to start looking for someone that his parents would set him up with. So there's no, like, princesses really available because Princess Alice is already um, set to marry Prince Henry. Um, and then the princesses in uh, Windenburg Palace, they're all his cousins, because they're all related. So they, that won't work, but we have, let's see, we have Lady Lindsay. Um, I think I need to change her outfit, because she's wearing like a ski mask and goggles. Yeah, there's no really other girls in this one. So I think we're going to just have to go to the map and take a look to see what's up. Um, but... Prince Jared, he's just, I don't know, he, I mean, so he's the heir to the throne. I'm trying to find his, like, let's see, okay. There it is, his traits. So he's a perfectionist, he's a bookworm, he's a quick learner, and he's in the phase right now where he's a picky eater. Um, I didn't realize, I guess teenagers go through that too, but I thought that was more of a child thing. Um, but his aspiration is to be a renaissance sim, so he wants to apparently read a lot of books, um, but the renaissance sim thing is like just learning a lot of skills. So we'll definitely try to work on that and get some aspiration points for him. 
Queen Arya, as you know, the kings and queens, they're kind of in the whole political career. Um, doesn't look like they're that high in the political career, but, I mean, they're the king and queen. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go try to find um, which ladies around here would be a good fit for Prince Jared. I'm just going to alter their needs, fill needs for the household. All right, so let's go to the travel menu. Um, and then I'll just kind of like hover over each house and see who's there. We do have a lot of noble families around, so we'll kind of see. Um, our first option in the kingdom would probably be someone from a different kingdom, just because the kingdoms would always try to join together um, and form an alliance with another kingdom. So, and I mean, they're already all pretty much related, so it's not that big of a deal, but you know, we'll go ahead and try that first. Um, if we can't find anyone good for him, then we'll go ahead and see who's available in Oasis Springs. So since the family of Oasis Springs already is related to the family of Windeberg, why don't we check out Willow Creek first? Um, so let's see, we have the Earl of Willow Creek. It looks like his daughter is a child, so she's probably too young. Um, we have the Marquis of Willow Creek, so we have a Lady Rachel, she's actually a young adult, so she needs to find somebody soon. Um, we have Lady Lindsay, who is in the teen club, I do need to change her outfit, because she's got some weird outfit going on. Um, so that's an option, so the Marquis of Willow Creek, their, their family is an option. The Baron of Willow Creek, he's got all the boys, and then we have the, what was this, the Duke of Willow Creek. Um, yeah, so they're, they don't have any eligible tomb bachelorettes either. So I'll just check out the family of, oh, where is it? There it is, Windenburg, um, just to see who we have here. So we have the Duke of Windenburg, they don't have anyone available. But yeah, you can see they're already married, and then this is their father, so he's actually the Duke right now. Um, and then we have the Baron of Windober, Windenburg, Windenburg. Um, Lady Abigail, I don't think there's anyone available here. Ooh, wait, Sir Philip, I don't know which one is single, but, oh, okay. So it looks like the Baron of Windenburg actually passed away recently, so I need to... Whoever the oldest is, I think it's Sir Philip, um, but he needs to be appointed the Baron. Um, so whoever, because they're young adults too, so I'll probably have one of them end up with Lady Rachel over in Willow Creek. So yeah, I need to kind of update all of the noble families. Um, we have the Earl of Windenburg. It doesn't look like they have anyone available. We have, I don't think that's a noble family. Okay. So then, nobody in Windenburg. So let's see who's in Oasis Springs. So we have Lady Clara, but I think, yeah, she's already married to Sir Lucian. We don't have anyone there. We don't have anyone there. And, wow, we really kind of ran out of people. Um, and the Duke of Oasis Springs, we don't, I don't think we have anyone there. Maybe we do. Wait, Duchess. Oh, the Duke already passed away here too, so I need to update this one. So, Lady Shana, she's already a young adult. So, it looks like the only one we have is Lady Lindsay. I don't think they're related. I don't think they are. So, um, why don't we go ahead and we can actually visit their family. Um, so, I'm going to... You know what, first I'm just going to update L Lady Lindsay's clothes and then we'll come back and we'll go to the um, Marquis of Willow Creek's house and kind of just have the whole family introduce themselves. Okay, so here we are at the Royal Family of Willow Creek. I've just updated Lady Lindsay's outfit um, and a little bit of Lady Rachel's because she had a... Uh, a custom content dress and so she wasn't wearing anything but I just need to change their outfits because they do not want to show up in their swimsuits um all right who else is is it he, I don't know where he's going he's taking on the trash apparently so he needs to also change let's see change outfit in there let's just go with that every day okay so we need to ring the doorbell, oh, and he also needs to change because 
he's just wearing his workout outfit. So change outfit. Okay. So we'll knock on the door of the Marquis of Willow Creek, um, and the whole family's going to introduce themselves. It is 2 a.m. on a Saturday, so I mean, it's fine. There's no, like no concept of time in this game at all. So we'll knock on their door, and there we go. Okay, so now everyone needs to introduce themselves. So this is the, whoop, yep, this is Lady Lindsay's mother. So we'll introduce yourself to her. You need the king to introduce himself to the Marquise. We'll do friendly introduction, and then we'll do um, Queen Elena. She'll offer his, her offer her gratitude to the Marquis, and then I'll have Prince Adrian introduce himself to everyone as well. So it's just going to be a lot of introductions. So this is Lady Rachel, this is Lady Lindsay's sister, um, and then we also need Queen Elena to introduce herself to Lady Rachel as well. Do polite introduction. Ooh, I don't know what happened here. Looks like Prince Jared is not getting along with Lady Lindsay's mother. So we need to fix that. Um, it's just bright and day, I guess. We'll just do some more friendly interactions, heartfelt compliment. And then Lady Lindsay is not here with everyone. So she's upstairs. So I guess you can call her over. Looks like she's cleaning. I believe one of her traits is that she's neat. So that would make sense. So Prince Jared already kind of knows her a little bit because they are in the teen club together. I'm trying to call her down. Um, so you get to know her, I guess. Ooh, whose urn is this? Uh, the Marquis Brie Willow. Who really can I hmm. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check the family tree later for that. And we'll, yeah, we'll definitely go through the family tree in this episode as well. So we need the queen to introduce herself. We need the king to introduce himself. Um, hopefully everyone can just come downstairs. And then... We can all just chat, um, and then we'll probably have them come by later, maybe for dinner, and have them over for dinner at the castle. So Prince Adrian's his manners are definitely going up a little bit. Um, so we're just kind of having everyone introduce themselves to Lady Lindsay. So basically, this whole family they just kind of need to see um, if. They're going because Lady Lindsay would be the new queen of Oasis Springs, so the whole family kind of needs to take in, make sure everything's okay, make sure the family is, is pristine enough and they have a good reputation. So we'll kind of just have everyone do that. So they're just chatting with everyone. Um, I think we've introduced ourselves to everyone at this point, so I'm actually going to throw a royal dinner party. Um, and have this entire family kind of come over and meet their family. So, why don't we go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have all of our guests at our palace in Oasis Springs. So, we're going to have, let's see. Um, do we need a butler? Can we get a butler right now? Is that going to be... I don't know if they're going to come in time. But we have plenty of bedrooms for a butler. So... Let's see, hire a service. Can we do that on here? I know we can do it on the computer. So I will really quickly hire a butler so we can have them um, cook a meal for us. So let's see, order? No. Ooh, household? What is this? Uh, no, okay. Order. We'll just get a story credit. Oh, no. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll just cook something. So, we don't even technically have to cook anything, but I want some sort of food for us to have. So let's see. Uh, we'll have the king is going to cook a grand meal. I don't think he has any cooking experience at all, so maybe not. Uh, why don't we just, let's see. Uh, da -da 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 cook. And then we'll do something easy, like... This, that's fine, okay. Party size, okay. So King, uh, oh I forgot his name. Oh, King Easton's going to be cooking and then we have everyone else here. So we'll have the, oh, I thought she introduced herself to her. So Queen Elena needs to, I'm sorry. I can't, I've been saying Elena, haven't I? Queen Arya 
Queen Elena is the queen of Willow Creek. I get them mixed up. So Queen Arya needs to introduce herself to Lady Lindsay's mother. Um, this is King George. This is Queen Arya's brother. And then we need, let's see, where is Lady Lindsay? There she is. Okay. So I already have her party outfit. It's kind of the colors of Oasis Spring. The colors are like the green and yellow. So we'll have them chat a little bit. Um, let's see. So, yeah, there we go. Lady Lindsay's coming over to Prince Jared. So they can chat a little bit. Um, why don't we have them go get away and stargaze? It looks like I need our sims to dance. We need to tell jokes too. So I will have a Queen Aria tell a joke to Marquis Edison. Let's see. Funny, tell a joke about aliens. And then I'll tell a joke about politicians too. They're all politicians, so they'll think that's funny. Uh, funny joke about politicians. Um, and then we need to have the sims to dance. We need our host to socialize with the guests. Uh, let's see, when I grow up, I want to be a ninja. What do I need to do to start getting ready to be a ninja? Uh, start practicing your hiding, I guess. Oh, that decreases responsibility. Why? Okay. So, King Easton, it looks like he's whipping up something. Hopefully, he doesn't burn it. Hopefully, he doesn't burn the cows down. How's Prince Jared doing with Lady Lindsay? It looks like, eh, not much is happening. Uh, we'll complain about the heat. It's too hot. Okay, so we got a bronze medal. That's fine. Um, but we do want to hang out with Lady Lindsay a little bit and see if we can get something going on. So, oh, no, 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 come back, come back. We'll flirt. Come back. Hopefully he can catch her before she leaves. Okay, so I actually ended up just inviting Lady Lindsay over to the Rattlesnake Juice Bar so they could get some alone time. So we're just trying to get the relationship up. I definitely want to do this by the end of the episode um, because I think she would be a very good fit for Prince um, Jared. So I think she could definitely be a really good queen. She's neat and she, apparently she's squeamish too, um, but also one of her aspirations is to um, be a super parent. So she definitely cares a lot about family. So we're just going to, so okay, so now we have a pretty good relationship. So we're gonna try some romance. So why don't we flirt a little bit with her? I swear, did she leave? Oh my gosh, what? We were just hanging out. So invite to hang out with current lot, have her come back. Okay, so after hours of trying, I have finally got a little tiny bit of romance going with them. I even, I put them on a date and I mean, I couldn't get them to get into this emotion, but like she kept shooting down every flirty interaction they were doing. And then even if it was successful, it took like 10 tries before I even got a little bit of a relationship going. So it's going to take some time with these two. We're definitely going to have to come back to them because I've, I've decided that the king and queen have uh, betrothed them together. I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah. That, those are my words. So, I mean, she's already leaving, so we can't do much else with that. Before we end the episode, I just want to take a quick look at the family tree for Oasis Springs. Um, I, maybe we'll focus on an episode where we get to do a little bit more of a breakdown. But um, as you can see, it's just Prince Adrian and Prince Jared. So um, the Queen Arya, she actually comes from the royal family of Windenburg. So her parents were Queen Ezra and King Henry III of Windenburg. And they have a lot of siblings. Um, I don't know why the pictures aren't showing up. But yeah, so they had um, three sisters and the one brother who became the king. So they are related to a good amount of people. Um, and then you can also see, um, I don't know, like Queen Arya, she just like, she looks so much different from everyone else. I don't know how that ended up happening, um, and I, I can't tell because they're ghosts, but I can't really tell. I think Queen Ez- no, Queen Ezra, I'm pretty sure was blonde. Um, so we'll we'll go back, and I, I can view the portraits of the Wind at the Windenburg Palace, so we'll definitely have to go back and do that. I would love to do the same thing with um, our other royal families, and I should have kept track of them too. It's just hard to keep track of that many families. 
Um, oh, I've actually lost uh, our original where we started. So, um, but as you can see, um, we can go back to up here. So Queen Kara, so that was like his great, that would be his, it would look like his great, great grandmother. Um, and just kind of see, interesting to see everyone. Yeah, so we have um, the royal family of Oasis Springs on his father's side. And then we have the royal family of Windenburg on his mother's side. So he's like doubly royal. Um, but yeah, maybe another time we'll take more time to get into the whole breakdown of things. I'm actually going to end the episode here. In the next episode, I'm going to focus more and we'll have an update on the royal family of Willow Creek. Because um, I do think it's a good idea to focus on others. And then we'll bring it back to the royal family of Windenburg in a few episodes. But I hope you all enjoyed this. Um, thank you for your suggestions. I think that this is a great idea and I hope that you guys enjoy it too. Um, I love these videos and I love being able to play this family for a long time. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And we'll see you all the next episode.